Assessment falsehood number 19. Everything that matters can be measured. Assessment falsehood number 20. Everything that can be measured matters. Assessment falsehood 21. If it can't be measured, it doesn't matter. The idea that if something is important to us, it can be measured according to a numeric scale and then compared meaningfully to other measurements on that scale is the great conceit of the technocratic age. It's a conceit and a falsehood because every human knows that there are powerful aspects of human experience and capacity that cannot, in fact, be measured according to a numeric scale. These include things like love, friendship, happiness, confidence, perseverance, creativity, and learning. Maybe you can measure something connected to those things and use those as proxies for measurement of the thing. For example, if you want to measure someone's capacity for friendship, you could decide to count the number of friends that person has. That's troublesome, though, because it doesn't tell you anything about the quality of those friendships. The quality of a friendship matters. How do you measure that? What's your unit of measurement? Do you count the number of times you talk to each other? The number of meals you have together? How often you smile in each other's presence? But none of these things get at the quality of friendship. This is why we need to move away from measurement to embrace storytelling. Tell the story of the friendship. Tell the story of kids learning. Honestly, every once in a while, we think we discover a way to measure a thing, and then that thing suddenly becomes vitally important to our understanding of kids. Aptitude tests fall into this category, as do IQ tests. We think we can measure capacity in the academic subjects, and thus those become the point of schooling. It's almost as if we feel that anything we can measure is, quote, our job as educators. If we can't measure something and thus won't be able to sort kids into hierarchies according to that thing, then we decide it's not our job. We talk it up, of course. Creativity, communication, and citizenship are important, we say. But those never show up on the Regents, the MCAS, the ACT, or the SAT. Those never get reported in articles comparing the performance of districts in the state. 